let's let's focus on the uh, part of the emissions gap that can be qual uh, qualified as the implementation gap, namely the difference between uh, current implemented policies and the EDC targets. We track this in yearly uh, fact sheets financed by European Commission, which is also an important input for UNEP emissions gap report. And we do this for 26 major emitting countries. And um, we analyze the current climate and energy policies as of November 2020. That's the cutoff date. And we do this with a, a suite of, of tools. On the one hand, we have New Climate Institute, who base their calculations on the Climate Action Tracker. Uh, there's PBL uh, with the Image Integrated Assessment Model, and EASA using uh, the Land Use and Forestry Models, Global Energy 4 m And adding all of these together gives a nice range for uh, projections under current policies, current climate and energy policies. And new this year in the report uh, is the effect of the new NDCs that I showed uh, briefly in the previous slide, uh, as well as the effect of the COVID-19 crisis uh, on emissions. And just to move to the key findings uh, directly, these are the projected 2030 emissions under current policies relative to 2005. Red is an increase and blue is a decrease. So you see that in many of the countries analyzed, emissions are actually projected to keep increasing under current policies. Um, whereas for more uh, developed countries, they are projected to, to decrease. This is the high level overview of whether countries are on track to reach their targets. And this is too small to read probably, but I'll give you the headlines. Uh, many of the countries that we have analyzed have submitted updated NDCs. And uh, of those 26, uh, 16 are on track, so over half are on track to reach their previously submitted NDCs, so their, their Paris uh, targets. If you look at the new or updated NDCs, uh, only 10 are on track, but that's because many of these targets have been uh, revised such that they are more ambitious. Um, so that's the overview across countries, and let's move into the country detail now. So Brazil, for example, this is one example that you would see in the uh, fact sheets report, where um, emissions are uh, plotted historically in the black line. The blue range gives the emissions under the current policies. The purple uh, dots give the NDC targets, and then the uh, light purple is the old one, dark purple is the new or updated NDC submission. And here you basically see that with the current policies, Brazil is projected to um, be on track to meet the NDC target, but this NDC target has been revised uh, such that emissions are expected to be higher than they were in the in the first NDC submission. The, the, the really latest uh, NDC announcement of Brazil is not incorporated here yet. Um, so this still uh, takes into account this 43% reduction. And these are then the policies that are actually uh, considered in the blue range. Um, at least these are the, the high level ones. We have more details in the fact sheets, but that doesn't fit in one sheet. So for example, uh, renewable targets, uh, policies in the transport sector, Brazilian forest code, and other uh, land use and forestry policies. Moving on to China, we see that uh, China is on track to meet the NDC target uh, of the latest uh, submission and uh, incorporating many of the, the policies in, in across sectors, inc including uh, car standards, uh, industry policy, buildings sector, um, forest cover, etc. Uh, for the EU then, uh, we, the EU is projected to overachieve the previous NDC target and would almost meet the new one. Uh, which is uh, quite significantly more ambitious, with a 55% reduction by 2030. Uh, this incorporates all of these policies uh, on the EU level. It does not incorporate yet the Fit for 55 package. That was beyond the cutoff date of this report, so that would bring it uh, probably closer to, to the NDC target. For India, which we'll hear more about later, in our uh, calculations, uh, India is projected to overachieve the NDC. Um, there could also be uh, that the NDC uh, could be uh, could increase its ambition. Um, and the policies included there are renew for renewables, the for industry, the deforestation, and and more. Uh, 
and finally, for the USA, we see that actually more policy is needed to reach those uh, NDC targets. And we all know that that is work in progress, but that's not uh, current uh, in policy yet, which is defined here as uh, being adopted by the government. Um, so, so these announcements and plans have not been considered yet in these projections. And that's just a snapshot of uh, the country progress. There's more countries in the fact sheets. Uh, the links are included here.